Hey guys, today we're making some blueberry lemon muffins with a touch of lavender. This gonna be really good, super easy, and these blueberries are gonna like burst in your mouth. It's gonna be great. Let's get started. Okay, our first step is to get 300 grams or two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Just gonna pop that in there. Perfect. One teaspoon of salt. And one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Let's give it a good whisk. And then let's set it aside. For the wet ingredients, we're gonna add half a cup of melted butter into like a medium sized bowl. One cup of warm milk. And three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Give it a good whisk just to get everything kind of melted together. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla. That smells great. The zest of a lemon. You can always add more or less lemon zest. I love lemon zest, so I go strong. Now we'll whisk in two room temperature eggs. One, two. Quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. Just make sure it's strained. This gives a lot of acid for that baking powder to react to. So it's a nice rising agent. Half a teaspoon of culinary lavender. I love the aroma it gives. Just don't use too much, because it can be overpowering. Whisk together. Great. Okay, now time to combine. Before I add the wet ingredients into the dry, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of the dry and set it aside. You'll find out what this is for later. Now let's just whisk it in. You could use a standing mixer if you wanted to, but I'm going old school. And just whisk until combined. You can even go until a little bit under combined because we have to fold the blueberries in. I'm gonna add in my tablespoon of dry mixture and just give the blueberries a nice shake to coat them. Now I have blueberries that are coated in a little bit of flour. That's gonna prevent them from all sinking to the bottom. It's like a little uh, bit of an air pocket and just fold to combine. Gorgeous. Transfer the batter into a buttered muffin tin using an ice cream scooper or just use a spoon. Bake at 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the centers are springy and set. To make the blueberry reduction, you're gonna simmer one cup of blueberries, a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. The blueberry reduction will simmer for a few minutes Muddle it up with either the back of a spoon or a muddler if you have one. I just love that color, so gorgeous. So my reduction is done. Now it's time to strain it and let it cool before we incorporate it into our glaze. I love the color and the smell is amazing. Push that to the strainer. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect bake for these muffins. Look at this color. Not burnt at all, beautiful, I'm so happy. Okay, now we're gonna honor this beautiful muffin with a nice glaze. All that's gonna be is our powdered sugar and the reduction we made. You're gonna eyeball this. It's really just about the consistency, so add in as much as you'd like. Great recipe. <laughs> and then like a tablespoon at a time of the reduction. Just be conservative with the liquid you add because it's kind of like this nonsense until it's gloopy. So you have a very small window of adding liquid in for the right consistency. You can also drizzle some lemon juice in there. Just because the reduction we made is pretty thick. So close. We want it just to gracefully fall off of our whisk. Graceful, nice. So now we'll be able to drizzle this over our muffins and just have like a nice stream. So my muffins are arranged closer together. I'm just gonna rake across them with the glaze and let it all drizzle out really organically, rustic. It's a muffin, it can be imperfect. I 
I feel like the only thing I need to do is show you the inside of this muffin. It is so moist and the lavender and the lemon zest and the blueberries it's all working together really nicely. I hope you get to make this recipe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.